Hey friends, I'm coming back on again this morning with another word from the word. I've shared this before, but I'm feeling it really strong this morning. Um, the Lord's really speaking to us, but I'm reading out of the book of Ruth in chapter two, and I am gonna read starting at verse 11, where um, Boaz was talking to Ruth, and it said, and Boaz answered and said to her, it has been fully reported to me all that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband and how you have left your father and your mother and the land of your birth and have come to a people whom you did not know before. The Lord repay your work and a full reward be given you by the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come for refuge. Now I know we don't all have the same story about our mother-in-law and uh, her husband and this and that. Some probably do. But what God is saying is that the things that you have done, he knows. You know, some things have been reported, but I feel like he's saying this morning there's somebody that you have done some amazing things behind the scenes, not looking for any credit, but there's some things that you've done that were pleasing to God that nobody else knows. And it might even be a situation where somebody knew, but they're not even here now to report it. They're not even here to vouch for you. But I wanna tell you something, my friend, God, God knows, he noticed. And that's the most important one. God knows every single thing, every act that we do on the face of this earth, the good and the bad. He knows all of it. And he will reward you whether anybody knows or not, anything that you've done, whether you did it for your family, you did it for strangers, whether you did something for the poor, whatever you did behind the scenes that nobody noticed, he did. And God's coming in and he says, the Lord repay your work and a full reward be given you by the Lord God of Israel under whose wings you have come for refuge. So just know everybody that it doesn't matter what people have seen or not seen, you know, because God sees everything. And there is reward coming for those things. I feel like there's areas that people have just given up or lost hope, you know, that some things just may never come to pass, but they are because God never lost hope. You know, he never overlooked it. Just because it hasn't come yet doesn't mean it's not coming, but there is reward coming to God's people because it's a promise and his word says so. And some of you have done some incredible, amazing things and you've gotten no credit but God's gonna come and he's gonna give you the credit that you deserve for his glory, for his glory, because he knows your heart and he knows you wanted to do everything unto him, that you wanted to please him and give him the glory. And he's coming to repay that in Jesus name. I remember one time I was going through something and right in a moment where some serious things were coming against me, some demonic attacks, and I was having to bite my tongue and walk away. I just wanted to please God. I was hurting so bad, you know, the, the, the evil and the wrongdoings. And I remember walking away and just, you know, praying under my breath. And the Lord spoke a song to me that um, he said, after all that you've been through, I will make it up to you. I promise you, after all that you've been through, I will make it up to you. And it was like a record player going in my spirit. And I knew it wasn't my th thought coming up because it was a horrendous moment, but it was him speaking loud and clear that I'm gonna make this up to you. You know, I know what's come against you. I know the things that you've done and I will make it up to you. So get ready for a repayment. Get ready for a reward because God is good and he is faithful and he's coming through. I'm not just saying that. He's coming through because he says so. It's not my word, it's his word because he loves you. I love you guys and I just pray that this bless somebody today in Jesus name because God is good, he's faithful 
and he always comes through for his people. And you are special. You are important to God. He loves you. He rejoices over you. So hold on, my friends, because he's coming. In Jesus' name, I love you guys, and I'll be back soon.